I, I think it's so fascinating too, Justin, because you know what's what you're doing now, you know, with the CFB PA, it, it's like we should have all seen it happening, right? Like you you are mm-hmm. are so mindful and forward thinking and knowing that hey, this this might not be right what's happening right now and that there needs to be a change and i mean you and i have discussed that ad nauseum even while we were mm-hmm. both still playing and trying to make changes and and how can we do this what can we do and you know not quite the platform that exists now like the voices of these student athletes is is tremendous and you know what mm-hmm. you guys are are trying to do to really you know sub that and take it to another level is fantastic but kind of just tell people why you were so interested in in being in this um how it came about and you know, just really how you got started in this whole thing. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the, the real drive behind it was playing in the time period pre NIL pre being allowed to get a cookie, you know, or, or cream cheese on the bagel, like done. without losing your scholarship. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. 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 So living through that and just seeing, and like, I can talk about my experience at Clemson as, as the example of it, but seeing the small town of Clemson grow from what a small town to, just billions of dollars coming into the whole system and then just seeing that insane growth and the value that winning some football games brings to it and that everybody affiliated or looking at the program you know is making a whole bunch of money on it and but as athletes you know we weren't allowed anything and even in that process when they now discuss you like we're going to expand the playoffs we're going to limit your transfers in this way we're going to do this we're going to do that no one is asking the actual athletes you know what are your thoughts on this who are the people that these rules are going to affect you know what are their actual thoughts or needs on these things um and that was always my issue with college sports is that it's the people doing the work and especially in college football putting their health putting their bodies at risk putting in countless hours dedicating their lives to this yeah. very limited time period to like maximize their success there uh have almost no power in the in the whole system to shape anything and we've seen that change now with nil where guys do have a lot of power but their only power is hey give me x or i'm leaving right um and so we really see like that's not the healthy relationship you want to have guys have more power guys are getting better benefits than ever before and that's fantastic but we want to enable them to have more small levers than just hey if i can't get this if I have an issue with practice, if I have an issue with the coach, if I have an issue with my doctors, if I have an issue with my collective, uh, I want to be able to negotiate that. I want to be able to bargain with the stakeholders to find a solution, not just say, I'm leaving. Mm-hmm. Right. It's, and it's really just shaping that power now to say, hey, let's calm everything down. There's more to it. There's value in sticking around and seeing things through. It took me till my redshirt junior year to be a contributor on the team. Right. <laughs> and it's getting through that as an offensive lineman is a tough time. Yeah. Uh, but really there is value in sticking it out and trying to work through things and speaking with your coach to shape how you want to be coached and just really trying to empower guys to see that and to see that future where uh, there's more than just, Hey, I'm leaving. Yeah. That's, that's a great way to put it, Justin, because yeah, all of us stayed in one place and it may have not been easy at times, but it was definitely worth it. And it shaped all of us into what we're doing now and, and what we've become. And I do think some guys are missing out on that, especially kind of that network you have when you're done, mm-hmm. if you've been at mm-hmm. the same place the whole time.